big brown one and it makes a difference in uh, noise absolutely oh, let's put it Seventy ohm resistor on the output tube has drifted to 530 ohms. We're going to replace it. Also looks a bit crusty. We'll also change the other one. Okay, the two new 470 ohm resistors on the output tubes are installed. I will also be replacing these two coupling caps on uh, the first stage as well as uh, all the other coupling caps uh, and as far as I have the correct values also there are some on the back of the board leading up to the output tubes 100 nano and there's a 47 nano this is a cathode, cathode bypass uh, capacitor okay one side is already detached Thank God for 60 watt soldering irons. We have these nice tube amp doctor Sprague wannabe capacitors as replacements. Now the coupling caps leading into the power tubes have been replaced. This 100 nano and this 100 nano here here. I will solder most of the components in this uh, power connection for the bias circuit. Uh, no, not for the bias, for the filaments. Um, so, so I can also measure these capacitors. Uh, this was a replacement capacitor that was installed somewhere else. Uh, I put it here. Also for the 100 microfarad, I do have a replacement, but I have to test it out of circuit, which I will do now. Here's that uh, capacitor in the schematic. 100 microfarads. It's the brown one. Let's test it. Let's drift to 140. Mm. Let's replace it. In the process of desoldering, I wrecked this uh, sort of in soldered in a fuse. It's completely done. But it's not a schematic, it's maybe a, a modification that was done later. Uh, we'll leave it out for now. But I will also uh, ground this big cap somewhere else. I think with the other big capacitors, maybe this is something to do with the noise issue that I'm having. Uh, that it wasn't grounded there originally. It was situated here, I thought. Yeah, over there. All of the main coupling caps have now been changed for orange types. I removed these black old style capacitors. By Circe. Must be Italian too. I also reconnected the the main this big 32 microfarad capacitor to uh, ground where there are other uh, electrolytics grounded, uh, not near the bias circuit. Time for another test, I think. Okay, at first I was plugged in here. These two jacks. I don't know if these phono jacks are at all original I don't know anyway um, you originally plugged in here the pickups the record players to the phone so uh, anyway I 
connected here to check whether the hum we were getting was maybe due to the fact that the inputs were put here too, too close to the power section. But if we connect here, the hum level is still the same. Okay, we got distortion if we open the volume up to seven.
so we finally got some ECDC tone from this uh, Gelozo amp almost in its stock configuration. Yeah, absolutely stock configuration. Um, so where did it come from? I don't know. But what we did change is most of the coupling caps, these black ones, and we changed uh, the electrolytic on the on the AC. And it's uh, bulging out a bit. So, and also, I finally had the balls to uh, turn on the amp completely, turn it all the way up. We used some uh, tube amp doctor uh, spray types, and um, I think the if the, first, the next step will be to uh, install a master volume on this uh, amp.